Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. In this short podcast we are going to look at setting up a spreadsheet to show a simple cash flow statement. A cash flow statement merely shows the changes in cash during each month or during each period. So in this case we are going to look at the changes each month for a period of one year. The opening balance is how much we've got to start with as cash and we add to that all the cash flowing into the business, those are the inflows and then we subtract all the outflows and we are left with a closing balance. So the closing balance for January will become of course the opening balance for February. So we need to set this up. Now I select the cell that I've got for January I go down to the bottom right hand corner of that you can see that we get a little black square and what I'm going to do is drag that along and you can see that what's happening by doing that is it's filled in the months for me which makes it a lot easier. Now I now need to look at how the sales which were my income are going to take place and I have the sales in December of the previous year which we can say are 10,000 and I'm going to say that we are anticipating that they will increase from February onwards by 5% per month. And the bank balance for the previous year we will say is 30,000 so I'm going to enter 30,000 there and we will say that office expenses are also going to increase but they're only going to increase at a rate of 4% per month. <coughs> now those are the only figures that I'm going to need for the moment. Um, we're going to assume that uh, some of the other expenses other than office expenses are going to remain fixed over the year. I'm making two assumptions here. I'm going to assume that all sales are cash sales and I'm going to assume we're providing a service. This just makes the uh, sheet easier. Now these are what we might call some variables that we can alter. So what we tend to do here we are. If I just click on that one and I show you up here, we've given the cell a name and you'll see that this helps in setting up uh, and making the entries easier. The way in which I do that, if I select the sales for December the previous year, I click and go to Format Cells. So I don't click and go on Format to cancel that, my apologies. I click and I go on to Define Name and it will come up with a suggested name. What in fact it's doing is suggesting the name that's in the previous column. So I say OK, I will accept that name and I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to accept the bank balance as being the name and I'll do the same thing for the last one. The office expenses increase per month. So all my variables in fact have been given names. So my op opening balance will be equal to, so I type the equal to, and it will be the bank balance from December of the previous year. And you can see what it's done is, of course, it's labelled it like that, the bank balance of December the previous year. That's fine. The sales revenue, we're going to say it starts off as the same as December, so I just put equal, it's the same that. So the total inflows will be equal to, and in this case we're just going to give it the cell reference. We're not having to add anything up. Now the expenses, we're going to say that the rent is a fixed one. So if the rent is going to be 500 and it's fixed, what I can now do, if I know it's going to be fixed, and go down and get that little black cross there, and I can simply drag that all the way across to December. The office expenses, we're going to say that that's increased by so much per month. So let me start off with the office expenses at, say, for, apologies, let's get in the right cell, the office expenses at 4,000. And the wages we are going to say are fixed. So I'm going to enter 2,000 for wages. And since they're fixed, I'm going to drag that along. There we are. So the total outflows will be equal to the sum of 
whatever in these cells for expenses. There we are. We just draw those down. And although we haven't finished it yet, uh, I, I could drag that all along. Uh, we won't for the moment because what I'm going to say now is that the closing balance will be equal to the opening balance plus the total inflows minus the total of the outflows. So the balance at the end of that month will be 33,500. Okay, now I just want to do one or two things here. The first is to show you how the sales revenue will work. The sales revenue will for the next month will be equal to the sales revenue from the previous month plus the previous month multiplied by the percentage increase which is 5 and then we'll have to put a percentage sign at the end of it. Now if I do that you'll see it comes to 10,500 which is a 5% increase but by using this naming system rather than by referencing cells if I drag that along it's calculated a 5% increase month by month and you can probably see that I'm going to do a similar thing for the office expenses which will be equal to the January figure plus the January figure multiplied by the office expense increase as a percentage. So I put that percentage sign there again. And from here, I drag that along, and I've got my percentage increases. Now, we already know that that is equal to the sum of those columns above it. So I'm going to again use that format in trick and say that that's going to be the same all the way along the line. Similarly, the total inflows, which is simply just going to be the one above, are going to be that. And now, all we've got to do is make a point that that one equals the closing balance from the previous month, which is that. And this will then be equal to the opening balance plus the total inflows minus the total outflows. So that basically then is the simplest sort of spreadsheet you can have. You're assuming that all of the sales are cash sales and you're assuming that it's provision of service. So by assuming all the sales are cash sales, all the sales revenue is collected in the same month that the service was provided. That just makes it easier for that. Uh, obviously this one will become equal to the finishing the closing balance for February. And similarly that would become equal to the opening balance plus the sales uh, minus the expenses and uh, there we are so that then is our simple cash flow statement thank you